In this video, I'm going to try nail art kit of dry pigments from Amazon. There are so many different things you can do with them, like you can mix it with any product. Gel, acrylic, deep powder, poly gel, or you can create nail art designs just with dry pigments. And I will show you an idea of a cool design you can do with them. Coming up! Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's unpack this. So we have 12 colors and 12 applicators. I guess one for each color. These jars are tiny, but I think the point is that you won't really need a lot of this pigment to add color to the product or somewhere else. Oh my God, I need to be careful. All right, here we have neon yellow. These are cosmetic grade pigments. They can be also used for makeup, which means it's totally safe to use them on your skin. Wow, look how vibrant the color is. So it's 100% safe to use it on nails too. My model for today is Barbara and she has gorgeous long natural nails, which means we have plenty of canvas to create this nail art. So let's start with the prep. I will apply dehydrator and non-acid primer. Since her nails are so long, it is better to protect them, so we are going to do hard gel overlay. And for this reason, I'm applying non-acid primer on the entire nail, as well as the base coat and cure it in LED for 30 seconds. Her thumbnail is broken, so we're going to fix it by doing hard gel extensions and traditional forms. I already have an idea of what kind of design I'm going to do for her today, but I still think it is better to use any kind of nude colors, because what if next time we're going to do something different? And also, when you're using clear or any kind of transparent gel, most likely you may experience heat spikes, which happens not as often when you're using any kind of nude gels. I created the tip first, cure it for one minute in LED, and then I'm going to add more product on the top to build the structure and the apex. To do this, I apply a thin coat of hard gel, do not cure, and then I take more and starting from the cuticle area, I'm going to build this. Make sure that you are not flooding the sidewalls. Actually, I'm planning to apply hard gel on her nails and do not file. Why should we spend more time on filing if it's possible to do without it? We already have shape, right, because there are her natural nails underneath. I already did some shaping for them, so it's quite easy to apply the product on top and when you're working with hard gel, you can also turn her hand around to make sure that the surface is perfectly smooth. Broken nail is fixed now, I cured it for another minute in LED and let's proceed to the rest of the nails. I already applied base coat and now I'm going to apply gel. So I'm going to work in a similar way, starting from the cuticle all the way to the center and to the free edge. Make sure that the sidewalls are covered with the product as well and the free edge, because if the product will be missing on this part, you may experience some peeling. You can also use poly gel if you are dealing with long natural nails, but I noticed that this method is the fastest for me, because with hard gel you can not really spend too much time on application because it is going to flood the sidewalls if you spend too much time and poly gel is not really limiting you. You can play with it as long as you want and then cure it in the lamp. That's why I prefer this method, but they both work great. Then I cure it for one minute in LED. I did a little filing and shaping for the thumb because we had to create it with the forms and I didn't for the rest of the nails. I simply took off the sticky layer. And now let's do the design. So the perfect background will be black color. I'm using black gel polish by Born Pretty because, as you can see, it has a great coverage and one coat will be enough. When you have such a long nails, I think any color is going to look gorgeous because when we finished the application, we thought, wow, this light pink color, like the nude, 
gel that we used for overlay looks so great. Maybe we don't really need to do any kind of background color, but as I was applying the black, we realized that it looks so pretty too. Finally, it's time for the fun part. So I decided to use absolutely all colors of these dry pigments and this is clear stamper for stamping. So what I'm doing, I'm simply applying each color in the line. So we are creating some kind of rainbow with an applicator. And then I'm going to use white stamping nail polish. This is important, this is not a gel polish. This is air cured stamping nail polish that is going to cure within few seconds on air. And then we simply need to wait for a minute or two. And then I'm going to squish this stamper to make these cracks appear on the white part. And this is how we're going to achieve this cracked dry neon pigment look. And then I'm simply going to use this stamper as usual and stamp some design on top of the nail. All right, this looks pretty, but I was hoping that we will have more cracks. So I guess I'm going to create some of my own using orange wood stick. And it's working, by the way. I really like this look. As I was playing with this piece of the design, I realized the mistake I made with this first nail. I think I applied too much of this white stamping nail polish. That's why the layer was kind of thick, it took longer to cure, and it's not as elastic and I guess that's why we do not have as many cracks. So let's try it once again because we have more nails to practice on and I think it's going to work differently. And also I think I fixed this one by creating my own cracks. So let's try it. I'm going to do it all over again, take a clear stamper. By the way, do not worry, you are not going to spoil your stamper with this because once the nail polish is cured, it separates easily. Apply all colors as a rainbow and then I'm going to apply white stamping nail polish and I will do my best to apply it a little thinner compared to what I did before. And also I'm going to wait a little longer and hopefully it is going to crack better this time. This nail polish that I'm using is new and I think it works better because if you have an old nail polish it is going to cure for way longer time. I think it's working, the cracks are appearing easily and hopefully we're going to get it this time. So let's try it. I decided that it will not look as pretty if I apply this pigment on the entire surface of the nail. So I'm going to cover just some areas such as sidewalls or only half of the nail. This design is definitely an abstract one. So if you're planning to place a specific colors on specific areas, even though this stamper is clear and you can see through, it's almost impossible because the outcome is going to be unpredictable, which I think is kind of cool because we were playing a game with my client and we were seeing different objects. So I saw this Nike logo and a palm tree when we created this one. Sometimes some parts of the design are not going to be super flat, so you can use an orange wood stick or you can use a clear stamper again and apply it on the top to make sure everything is flat, otherwise we will have trouble sealing it with the top coat. And if you want more cracks like I do, you can also do it like this, which is super simple. Another trick for doing this design, make sure that you cover the entire surface of the stamper with dry pigments as well as with white nail polish, the white stamping nail polish, because if you will apply only dry pigments, they are not going to transfer so easily to the nail. And finally, I seal it with a glossy top coat and cure it for one minute in LED. And I love the outcome. It reminds me of 80s design. Let me guys know what you think. And if you will be trying this design, please do not forget to tag me. My handle is nailco, nail C-O-U everywhere on Instagram, on Facebook, as well as on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing. 
as I post more nail art tutorials like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!